learn more about how we make money. October 1st marks the start of the annual college financial aid application cycle, as families can start filling out the free application for federal student aid, FAFSA, for next year. The FAFSA is the form that the U.S. Department of Education uses to determine your eligibility for federal student loans, grants and work-study funds. Roughly 10 million students a year get some kind of money, including a combined $30 billion in grants, through the form, according to Federal Student Aid, an office within the Education Department. College students have to fill out the FAFSA every year that they're enrolled to get federal aid. And for students who are considered dependents, that's most undergraduate students under 24 years old, they'll have to submit both their financial information and their parents' information. This year, you'll be using 2020 tax information to apply for aid for the school year that starts in fall 2022. Read Money's Guide on how to fill out the FAFSA for a step-by-step -step breakdown. You may have heard about some big changes coming to the FAFSA including eliminating many of the questions on the form. Those changes are still in the pipeline, so students won't see most of them for a couple more years. This year's form and application process will look much like it has in years past. Here's what to know. Fill out the FAFSA as soon as you can. You do not need to rush to file the FAFSA today, or even in the next week. But you should plan to complete it this fall, and depending on the state you live in, possibly this month. Aside from the federal government, states, colleges and some private scholarship foundations also require the FAFSA to award money for college. And while you can access low-cost federal loans and Pell Grants throughout the academic year, at least 10 states award financial aid on a first-come, first-served basis until the money runs out. Other states have deadlines to apply for state aid as early as January 2022, and most colleges have limited financial aid budgets.